Welcome to another one of our episodes, Kitty Talk. Today we actually continued our questions about Pentecost with the kids. We asked them today, what happened on the day of Pentecost and what fell on the heads of the apostles? Now, come with us and see what the kids had to say about that. No. Can you guess? Uh, Pentecost, Pentecost. I need to find out soon. Huh? No, I still what don't get it. Can you guess what Pentecost is? Um, it's something that a Buddha uses. Okay, what does he use it for? Um, when you drink the blood. Okay. Okay. So, can you tell me, it's actually a day, can you tell me what happened on the day of Pentecost? I never read it. You never read it? Uh huh. Do you know anything about anything falling on the heads of the disciples? On the heads, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, what did it look like? It looked like um, a bird flying down. Help God. Okay. What happened on the day of Pentecost? Jesus got crucified. Okay. And then, do you know anything about anything falling on the heads of the disciples? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. What did it look like when it fell on the heads of the disciples? Fire. Like fire? Okay. What, what was in the shape of? Um, a line. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what happened? Was it Pentecost? Can you say that? Yeah. What is it? Pen um, when um the Holy Spirit went on top um of. Of the apostles. Okay. And then, what happened on that day? That's the starting of the church. <laughs> Jesus and Coptic or something. Okay. Do you know um do you know what happened the day of Pentecost? Um Jesus died on the cross. Okay. Do you know what happened what fell on the heads of the disciples? Tongues of fire. <laughs> do you know um what's Pentecost? No. Okay, do you can you take a guess? You have to guess, Danny. What's Pentecost? Uh, is when Jesus 
satisfied. Okay. Okay, do you know what happened the day of Pentecost? Okay, do you know what fell on the heads of the apostle? What came on the heads of the apostle? Fire. What did it look like? Like, it was, it was small grain of fire. Fire was coming down. Um, it's when the apostles um, re um, received the Holy Spirit. Okay, what did it look like? Um, the, the Holy Spirit looked like tongues of fire. What's Pentecost? Do you know what's Pentecost? No. Can you say Pentecost? Pentecost. Can you guess what it means? It means that um, there's the 70 peoples. And then God uh, told them to do something. Okay, what happened on the day of the Pentecost? Um, what fell on the heads of the disciples? God told them to go somewhere. And tell so God what, 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 what did he do? And... And um, he told him, and um, got to him, well, never fight with each other. And they listened to God, and they did what God said to them. Okay. <laughs> is like a bunch of stories. Okay. Do you know what happened the day of Pentecost? There was a feast. Okay. What happened in the feast? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about, um, what happened, what fell on, the, on the, the heads of the apostles? What fell on top of their heads? Rocks. Okay. Good. <laughs> Pentecost? It's when Jesus um, got crucified. Okay, do you know what happened that day? Was it like, were the people together? What happened? Um, all the people went in a crowd and they wanted Jesus to be crucified. Okay, do you know what fell on the heads of the apostles? The apostles? One of them. What fell on their heads? The leg they chopped off their heads. Okay. What's Pentecost? Um, uh, huh? Okay, do you know what what fell on the heads of the disciples? Heads? What fell um, on the heads of the disciples? There's like, um, Something like fire on their heads. What did the What did the fire look like? Uh, something squiggly, like something like a snake. Okay. Those were some pretty great answers. Actually, some of the kids said that um, on the day of Pentecost, rocks fell on the heads of the disciples, which is not exactly true. Now, I'll tell you exactly what happened that day. The day of Pentecost happened 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let me give you a little bit of a timeline. Jesus Christ resurrected. After 40 days with the disciples, he ascended into the heavens. And 10 days after that happened the day of Pentecost. Now on the day of Pentecost, the disciples were actually sitting there together in the upper room praying and waiting to see the promise that Jesus had told them before he ascended into the heavens. 
they wanted to know what God had promised for them. And they were sitting there praying and waiting. Now what happened is there was a great earthquake and the earth shook behind, underneath them. And tongues of fire fell on the heads of the disciples. I know some of the kids said that it was a bird or something that was a snake, but that's not what it was. The Bible says it was tongues of fire. Now, tongues of fire fell on the heads of the disciples. And when that happened, the tongues of fire were actually the Holy Spirit. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they went out, and they were speaking in all different languages, preaching the Word of God. On that day, St. Peter went out, and he gave a sermon. And in that sermon alone, 3,000 people believed in God, and they were baptized that day, and they became Christians. Also, that day is very important for each of us. On that day, the church actually celebrates, and we sing beautiful hymns that celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, his ascension, and the fact that he sent us down the Holy Spirit to guide us and to lead us. That day is the birthday of the church because on that day we were given the courage and the sanctification and the wisdom to go out and preach the word of God. Each one of us is filled with the Holy Spirit. We're given the Holy Spirit when we're baptized. And when we're filled with the Holy Spirit, that means that we can go out and preach the word of God. We can also be used by God to do his great works. And that's exactly what each one of us needs to do. The church was prepared as the bride of Christ on that day. And we always need to remember that when we go to church and as part of the church, that we are the brides of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for joining our show, Kitty Talk. And until next time, we'll see you again. Have a great day.